I hear the voices inside my head, see voices behind the wall, uplifting the underdog, we fighting above the law. How about now? Hey, Jaded. Can you guys hear me okay? Patty Ponytail, Sharon, Benny Keys. I'm Taylor, Patty, Bama. Hey, y'all. Diana, Doby. Hi, Diamonds. Oh, you're all right, Diamonds. Thank you. You're sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Brian. So let's go back. Jojo, Lady, Lady Lolo, Aaron, Nikki, two poles. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. So we're going to chit chat for a few here. I see everybody in their moms is live, and that's okay. We're still going to do our thing. Lowly innocent until proven guilty. Hello. Bama, Bama. Hi, Ange. Okay, so um, y'all know how my dad is, and I'm not in the same room. Lady, thank you for being a member for 10 months. Choo choo. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Cotton candy boobs. Hey, sis. Love you. Been missing you. Um, Jaded, a member for 12 months, crazy train rider forever. Yeah. Choo -choo. Thank you. Um, okay, so, you know, uh, Dawn's kind of having phone issues all of a sudden. Can't get on my panels, you know. <laughs> but that's okay. We got a loophole. And y'all know that my dad is forever a work in progress with learning uh this stuff so unless i'm in the same room as him it is very hard um to try and teach him from over the phone um me and him are both very much alike and so we uh we know our limit with that. We don't we do not do well trying to teach each other something over the phone because he gets frustrated, I get frustrated, and then we butt heads a little bit. So we're not going to do that. So the loophole tonight is going to be, you know, the miracle of speaker phones. And they can hear each other, talk to each other. Y'all hear everything and we'll just be, you know, eavesdropping on some conversations. No, I'm going to be all up in this conversation. Um... And, um, first, <laughs> a little of this. I'm going to turn my camera off. We'll chit-chat before I call the gentleman of the evening. Cool gamer. Thank you. It's looking a little yellow on the camera still, but this was uh, three rounds of bleach and some toner. But it's, it's, it's getting there. The ends are that silvery color I like, so we're... We're getting there. I'm getting a haircut and I gotta stop fucking with my hair now. <laughs> but that aside, haven't caught me live in forever. I've hardly been on my channel, Spaz Attack. Good to see you. But uh, I'm doing the damn thing when I got some time. <gasps> Excuse me. Zena, good to see you. Hey, Lacey. So. Um, hi, Amy. I had a quick conversation with my dad before starting, quick conversation with Don before starting. Don is not happy at some of the rumors going on. So he, what he said to me was, you know what, I'm, I think it's okay that I say some stuff that I've been told to be, you know, hush, hush on, um, but due to all of these rumors and the things that are being said or, you know, the he said, she said, everyone's saying they're saying this and the never ending vicious circle, right? One, one second, please.
Okay. Scony. Jax. I don't blame him. The stuff coming out. Jody Subro mouth is crazy. Yeah, it's always been. Hi, Debbie. Anyone coming in that I've missed? I apologize. Okay, so. I think what I'll do first, you know, I'm going to uh, spark this lovely miracle in my hand here because everyone knows sure has anxiety when dealing with this situation. Hey, Kara. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. It's going to be kind of hard for me to see chat. Oh, you know what? Actually, I can get to do it like this. Let me know if it sounds horrendous. I will stop what I'm trying to do, but I can't see. I'm using, you know, my phone and my daughter's phone, my daughter's phone to call my dad and my phone to call done so I'm not gonna be able to see the YouTube chat unless I keep that muted and then perhaps I can go like this boom boom not sure does that work let's see let's see we're getting somewhere okay does this Sandra is this um terrible sound oh see and i can't even hmm, maybe if i make it bigger yeah i can't really see the chat like that either so forget that just never mind uh, that <laughs> i think i'm just gonna turn my camera off while i'm enjoying this here because you know how some people are um so while we do that i'm gonna go ahead and call dawn first and then we will add My dad to the conversation shortly. He's probably in the chat. Hey, running. Brenda. Hi, everyone. I can't remember. One of them was about to eat not too long ago. Uh, no, we're just getting started. I think I'm calling a little bit earlier than I said. Um, oh, hey, Hi. okay, I was just texting you, okay. so we're just chit-chatting right now, uh, we'll call dad in a minute, I was just, uh, having a smoke really quick, but we got, um, a bunch of people in the chat saying hello. Are you done working for the night? Yeah, I completely went over that truck and never could figure out what's wrong with it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So we're going to call my dad here in a minute. But, um, so how's how's your day been other than the, the truck? How's your day been? Very aggravating. Every day is very aggravating. Yeah. Every single day. So, more than I can handle. What's up? What's what? What's uh, aggravating today? Let's just start with today. <clears throat> well, I've got two trucks out here. I can't get running. Mm. Um, completely. Yeah. It's just one thing after the other, and all these haters. Um, we really always got that. Because, well, one thing I'd like to bring up is. You know, when summer come up missing, whoever called the welfare and told the welfare that I was giving my kids a load of guns, you know, that started the first case. Yeah. Which is absolutely yeah. freaking ridiculous. But well, the welfare come in here and they're just like, man, everything's nice, everything's cool, and they drop the case. And now, you know, 24 hours later, summer come up missing, 
And then another 24 hours later, it's welfare come back, so they had to reopen the case because of everything that's going on. So, then, so you don't know I mean, who called and said you were giving your children loaded guns? No, <laughs> no but I need to find out. I got to go up there and get a, a, a deposition or whatever the hell you call it. Um, mm -hmm. The thing of it is, what pisses me off is all these haters. Saying that we weren't, weren't good parents. Well, we were good parents for the first time around, and everything was fine. The only thing that changed was summer disappeared, and I lost. I, I did. I lost my damn mind. But who wouldn't? Right. And why was it welfare? I have no recourse to fight welfare at all. I can't afford a lawyer. I'm, you know, they know. This. So what if I welfare got you a lawyer? Possible. Do you remember I got you a lawyer and that was stopped? We don't need to get into who all, they all that, but... They won't touch this case for less than $4,000. What if I found a pro bono attorney that would take it just to make a name for themselves? If I could find you that, would you would you take that lawyer? Would you meet with them? Well, yeah, but... Well, yeah, remember but the magic I worked for you before, so don't say... It, you know it's possible with well, me. Well, yeah. Well, maybe, but really, honestly... To be totally honest with you. Yeah. There, there Please are be. no pro bono lawyers. There, there's not no pro bono lawyers going to take this case and make sure that welfare is doing what they're supposed to be doing for less than four thousand dollars. I found one for four thousand, and that's it. They're not going to do a pro bono. Now they might go after CPS if the case is closed. Maybe pro Cassidy. Bono because they're not taking into consideration that we're a Amber Alert family, and we we yeah we have problems because you know someone killed your daughter or took your daughter or something. I mean, I mean anybody would lose their mind. Right. You know, and all these haters and these CPS workers don't want to take that into consideration when they need to, but they don't have a clue what it's like. To think about their daughter crying every single night or what they might be going through for their dad and their, and their mom and there's nothing that either parent can do. Right. I wish they knew what it was like. I wish all them haters out there knew what it was like. Right. I don't wish it on anybody. Well, I want you to do me a favor. I'm going to get my dad on the line. I want you to take okay. a couple deep breaths because we're going to chat tonight calmly and we're going to try and, you know, set some of these rumors straight, but we're going to do it. We're... We're, we're going to do it with some class unlike them, okay? So take a couple deep breaths. and I'm trying. I know you are, and I know it's frustrating. Here, I'm going to just give me one second, okay, Don? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mute you for one second. Okay. Or I'm not going to mute you, sorry. Just... Okay. All right, we're going to call my dad. It's me, Dad. I'm hey, Dad. <laughs> I'm just using uh, Cassidy's phone, but Don's here on the line. Can you talk a little bit louder in the phone, Dad? Okay, one second, guys. I got to work out some uh, sound issues. Give me one second here. All right, chat, hold on one second here. It'll. I can't hear him too good. Yeah, it is kind of hard. I could, I could try to go live. I got the. Uh, well, he won't. He's not on panel either. He won't be able to hear you. Okay. All right, Dad. I'm gonna try and call you back in a minute. I'm gonna try from a different phone. Okay. 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 Love you. Bye. All right. We'll try from a different phone, but. So, okay, 
Dad doesn't know much about all of the, I know you wanted to touch on the DNA situation and all of the rumors yeah. being spread about that. And that will kind of go over yeah. dad's head because he, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot. And dad does, dad was, knows very given, little about this. So I was given, I was, I was given permission to say so much about it. I wasn't able to talk about it before, but. Right. And can I ask why? Are you sitting down? Are you relaxed now? A couple deep breaths. Are you ready to talk? Yeah, I'm trying. Yeah. Okay. So, and remember, don't let them piss you off because what they want is your reaction, right? Right. So, okay. So you said that you weren't able to say stuff before, but you've been kind of, you've been told it's okay to say some things now because of some some new rumors and stuff going on. Air. Clear the air. All right, Try I'll give you the floor. Bit, huh? things, yeah. So they can hear you, Don. What? Um, well, let, let's just get right into it. What? What did you? What were you told not to discuss before, and why now? Um, let's well, see how it know, works in here. Try, try not to put as much on YouTube as we can, I mean, whatever, but I was given permission to go ahead and talk about the DNA testing with the with They've already set all that up. That's been in the works through our um, private investigators for a while, contacted Hawkins County Police, and we're, we're going to do that. But this is, we've been, you know, going to do this for a while. But, um, so we're going to go through with it and get it done. Wasn't supposed to talk about it, but I was told that I could say that much. Okay. And that's where we're at with that. And so why would they ask you, do you think, uh, me just being nosy, uh, why would they not want you to talk about that? Well, we don't want to hurt the case and we don't, we don't, they don't want to put things out there like I have in the past, me and my big mouth, you know, and, because if the perpetrator's out there listening, you know, and it, it can hurt the case. So we got to be very careful about what's said and everything. And, and all, all those, all the people out there trying to help, we definitely appreciate it. I was told to tell y'all it's definitely appreciated, but please take it to our private investigators or whatever. Don't put it on YouTube for everyone to hear because the perpetrator or whatever could hear it and you know we, we don't the element of surprise or, or detective work is just lost kind of like okay so some people the in the question. chat um they're saying uh what dna so some people don't know about the dna so um do you want to talk about that let's rewind because some people are like whoa what is this and they have no clue what we're what we're talking about so why are you and your pis working on getting dna um let's go over that so the people that don't know uh well, recently might have been living that, under a rock um, <laughs> that, that body that they found in carroll county of the of, of, of a, a young child between the ages of Four and seven, I believe. Yeah. Um, so let me pull that up. So this is old news that has resurfaced. Yeah. This happened you know, a while back, and but so the coroner stated that the death, the time of death was around probably 2017. So it doesn't really match up with Summers, you know, case. Okay. But. So I, I, all this come up again, you know, things, things keep resurfacing over and over and stuff. There's different people to get involved in the case and stuff like that. And, and, but yeah, we, I don't know. So I guess that's what brought it all up. Yeah. And some people were talking about us doing DNA testing and stuff, which is fine. You know, just in case they do find, you know, a, a a body or whatever it would be yeah i'm trying to pull that up but i can't see i see adult male and then there's something with a man charged but 
I'm just trying to pull up uh, an article on on that for some people. It's uh, Carroll County, right? Right. And that's Virginia. Yeah, maybe I'm, Carroll or yeah, Carolyn? Maybe. Carroll. Carroll County. And when all this first came out, like a year ago or whatever. Yeah, you know, it's been a while. Know, So, from September 2022, remains were discovered in a garbage can in a wooded area September 6, 2022. A new report was created January 11, 2023. The remains were found near a gray-blue sleeping bag a white blanket with pink flowers and Winnie the Pooh piece of cloth. During discovery, officials also located strands of hair of one to two inches. Authorities have not identified who the remains belong to, but they believe the child was in the age range, in the age range of four and seven. They also believe the child died in 2017. Okay, so that's important to know that, yes, I think you said that too, Don. They believe that that child died in 2017. So the odds of that being summer is not likely. But are you still then... Be safe and know your surroundings. Okay, bring your knife. Sorry, the girls are going for a walk. <clears throat> we have two-way radios for our boys anytime they want to go anywhere. Oh, good. Yeah, that would be a good one. Well, we got cell phones now, but... So you are going to go ahead and still do the DNA, even though it says that they believe that child was passed away in 2017? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, it doesn't hurt, right? Okay. Yeah, that's right. Just in case. Yes. Just in case. Okay. Um, Really quick, I'm going to grab uh, Mark's phone and see if that will help Dad sound better so we he can join this conversation. One second. Ben, can I see your phone? Cassidy, I'm not using your phone. Oops, sorry. Okay. All right. Let's try this phone. Just a house full of phones, you guys. So, um, you have some work. Did you find some work done? You're able to keep yourself busy, um, other than fixing your your trucks yeah. and stuff. Good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Thank God. Yeah. And how's Candace doing? Is she still uh, uh, in Georgia right now? Uh, or never mind, don't answer. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> I yep, never mind. We know how some crazy people can be. So Yeah. We'll just keep that quiet. All right, let's see if we can hear Dad better on this phone. Hello? 
So. <clears throat> Hello? Oh, we can hear you a lot better now. How's that, guys? Can you guys hear Dad better? How about you, Don? Can you hear uh, yeah. Adrian, by the way? Can you hear me? Yep. No. Okay, good. So there's going to be a little delay in your response. So, um, yes, you guys can both hear each other. Uh, so we were just going over some rumors with Don. You didn't miss too much, Dad, but there was... Uh, uh, remains of a child found um, in Virginia in September of 2022 and people th the body has not been identified and some people have been wondering about uh, Don and Candace possibly uh, turning in some DNA to rule Summer out of that being her. However, we just read in the article that the, the law believed that that child passed in 2017. So that's not, definitely not summer. But he's still going to turn in DNA for it anyway, just to, you know. I would assume that would have already been done. They never asked, or done. Did police ever yeah. come to you? Can you kind of tell Dad and I, uh, from my knowledge, you didn't even know anything about that. You heard through YouTubers, right? Well, no, we knew about this a year ago. and uh, Actually, it was presented on YouTube a year ago, but I guess not too many people remember it. Some, some do, um, but it, it resurfaced again. And uh, I believe it was on YouTube a year ago or so. But, you know, things get forgotten and then things get brought up again all the time. Right. Especially as new people come in, they start looking at the case and they start going over it. And, you know, and I know people are trying to help and they want to find Summer. And I'm, I'm appreciative of that. I'm very appreciative of that. Hey, Don, how do you feel about the law enforcement agents so far? Their, their, um, well, to be honest, to be honest, to be honest with you, sometimes I get mad as hell, and other times I'm, I'm, I, I don't know, honestly know what to think, but, but I, I really don't know what to think because they're not going to, they don't tell us what's going on. We don't know what they're thinking. We don't know, you know, all, and for good reason, because if they shared everything on YouTube, it would, you know, then it would, it would get out there and then the perpetrator would know exactly what or what not to do. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I hear you. I've made that mistake of saying things I shouldn't have said and I, it shouldn't, some things, you know, belong, you know, to law enforcement and shouldn't be shared publicly. You know, yeah. and I've had a hard time understanding that myself. Because we want to oh, just find somewhere we want to. Uh, How's the community treating you? Better. Better. Yeah. Uh, I uh, have a lot of hard feelings for CPS and stuff like that, the way that the things that they've done. Um, you know, and we've read several things written by ex-CPS workers as, their, as to their tactics and what they would do and how they would do it. And they've pretty much done exactly what they said they would do. And, you know, a lot of people get mad at me for, you know, talking about CPS, but I, I can't afford a lawyer. I can't afford to go up against them. We're talking about big money, you know, mm -hmm. three points. 3.3 billion a year just in the state of Tennessee. Right. You know, there's big money involved there. All the, all the counselors, all the teachers, all the doctors, and all this stuff. I mean, I'm glad my boys they are being taken care of. You know, that's great. You know, but but if they give me if they give me insurance and give me food stamps and give me all this stuff, plus help me with my boys' education, they'd be just fine right here too. 
you know, and they were just fine right here. When they, the first time that they had a case here, uh, they come here, somebody called the CPS, as you know, always happens to people, but they closed that case 24 hours prior to some of the disappearance. So apparently everything is fine here. According to CPS, they closed the case. So, you know, right. and I just like to say to all the haters out there, you know, I have no other way to fight CPS except for, you know, YouTube or, or news news stations or whatever. I have no way of fighting these people. And in my mind, they're corrupt. And I'm sorry, but that's how I feel. I believe you. From what I've heard about them, I believe what you're saying. I mean, if you if you look into CPS and and the, the things they do and the lawyers on YouTube that handle CPS cases and the horror stories and this and that, then you might understand where I'm coming from. You know, I'm just talking to the haters out there. If you dig into it, you know what they do. Thank you, I mean, when Evil entered. I don't think it's right. I think they should help the families and keep the families together like, like they claim they do. That's yeah. what they claim, but they don't. They're, they're out to keep your board, your, your children and keep them from you because it's really about $3.3 .3 billion a year. That's what it's really about. Yeah, they made my dad sign papers for me while he was in jail, Don. Right, Dad? Uh, oh, thank you, yeah. Bama. And I bet that just broke his heart. At the time, I thought it was right to do. Yeah. Well, yeah, and, that, and that's understandable, right? Yes. Totally, yeah. And I couldn't see that. But yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to... I just feel like I, I, I can't afford a high price lawyer to fight these people. Right, these and people most people can't. Can. Well, well, see, and that's where a lot of the money goes, too. When I go to court for my boys, they got the the biggest lawyers there. I mean, they good. got good lawyers. They're, That's good. They're fighting the parents. No, I mean, it, they got lawyers fighting us. It's, for them. yeah, you know? it's terrible situation that, you know, they're fighting you guys. But I'm glad well, that yeah. at the same time that they have these great attorneys fighting for them. In the end, they're fighting yeah, for them. Yeah. Right? I understand that too. Yeah. But I, I have heard horror stories about some of the homes these people have put children in. And I'm, I think if we, we weren't fighting, if we weren't fighting, if we just signed the papers over, then there's no telling where our boys would end up. And they can legally adopt them out anywhere in the world. Yeah. Not just the United to an, States, yeah, to an extent. World. Yeah. And I've seen and heard of cases where kids... Well, they took me from Canada to Canada. the United States, so that's, you know, right. I mean, true. Right. right. Well, you know what you said, it, Don, when you said the uh, $3 billion a year in the yeah. wherever, wherever, there's, wherever there's big money, there's going to be corruption. That's one thing that's Absolutely. <laughs> yes, sir. That's true. Yeah. Absolutely. And I think it's wrong, you know, and I think maybe a lot of these people that they're hating on us, I mean, we had a case, they closed it. So, so apparently we had a good enough home here, you know, it won't, you know, until my daughter come up missing, which really seems strange, almost exactly 24 hours after they closed the case, my daughter come up missing. That seems, yeah. that seemed to really, you, yeah. Uh, can't think of a word, but coincidental. And then, and then, yeah, yeah. And then it. another twenty-four hours after that, they reopen the case because our daughter's missing. Knowing what I know now, if I knew then what I knew now, I would have told them get off the property, don't come back. Yeah. I would have told them get lost, or I would have never ever. I would have done things totally different than. I was so naive. So naive to welfare. Well, I let them push me around and I let them take my kids because I didn't know my rights. I didn't know what a kid and can do. Right. Well, and they totally took advantage of us in our situation. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they. 
So it was within 24 hours, case was closed, and then summer is gone. Within just under 24 hours then, because she was reported missing yeah, at 6, 29 p.m. Wow. Yeah, it was almost exactly 24 hours later. Wow. Almost exactly. Uh-huh. And they brought a supervisor up here, and they were walking around and looking around and stuff. And looking back, that all kind of seems real suspicious to me, but... But they have impeccable records. I mean, these are high people. Yeah, those, that, those people, you know, those people that you're talking about, they um, they would have had all the information about your family, who's in the house, and all, right. that, all that stuff. Well, they would have had mm -hmm. all the information they needed to your daughter. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds to me like there's something going on behind the scenes there. Hmm. It goes to me too. I mean, it just seems logical to me. It just seems so logical. But you know, I don't know who all these haters are that, that that are hating. You know, left and right. And I've I've wondered, person. You know, are these are these CPS workers? Are these people that work for that side that are putting all that hate on Facebook and then chat and YouTube and everything else? They got it. I mean, I don't know. I mean, we have a loving home. Our kids, our kids loved us, and we love our kids. So for all you, you know, I just get so mad when people say that we were just bad parents and everything else. It just really upsets me. And yeah, we're not perfect, but we, we love our children, and they had a pretty good home. Well, you got we still got a pretty good home. Life. you got enough stuff going on in your life. You don't need to rent space in your head to most people, you know? Okay, right. They're just uh, they're trying to amuse each other or some damn thing. That doesn't matter. The only thing that really matters is right. finding summer. Yeah. All right. But even if we find summer, we're gonna have to fight CPS tooth and nail. Yes. Know, all the way around. I know. If Andy came home at 3.30 and followed the Escalade out along with the white HHR with, I can't go up. So you know did Jody Sue know um, that the case was closed with with um, CPS as well? Do I don't know. You don't? I don't think okay. Jody Sue had, we didn't talk to her very often. Okay. I think Candace wanted you to call her. Um, I don't have her phone no, number. I don't know. Oh, okay. I could put her, I could, well, I don't think she would want to come up here, but I'll, I can drop the link and chat for her. I don't have her number, okay. but if you want to give it to her, I you can. can. I, can I, I can send her your phone number. Yeah. Oh, oh no. she's probably wondering who you're talking to. I see some people telling her. It's it's my dad, Candace. I didn't know she was in here. But I see some people saying hello to her now. And, yeah, they said, it's just my dad. Um, yeah, they kind of wanted to talk to you. Um, my dad, too? Um, yeah. Yeah. I was trying to... Hi, Candace. She's not on here yet, Dad, but she might be able to hear you. But she's in the chat, maybe. Okay. I dropped the link if she wanted to come up here, but I don't know. Hey, I gotta say something. You, 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 uh, you know any investigative reporters down there in the states, Sherry? What? Did you hear me? What about it? In investigative you know reporters. Know any investigative reporters? Yes, I know a lot. Well, you should, maybe you should get some of them involved in this because that sounds kind of weird to me. There's a story in there somewhere. That's another weird thing, and Don and I have talked about this too. Is when we try to not just me, numerous other uh, people, um, and they've all tried we try to send it out to like our local people or places all around the globe and it doesn't get touched it's like out of sight out of mind and it baffles me it does make me think some conspiracies uh you know in 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 that way but that's for a whole nother time i guess 
Well, I saw the uh, Dr. Phil episode with Don Gendis, and I would think that people that are into investigating, reporting, that kind of stuff would have jumped at it. Because that, that's, uh, you know, 24 hours after they dropped the case, he goes missing. That, that's just too weird. I never heard that before. Yeah, uh, yeah, 24 hours after they closed the CPS case. And Don said it was closed, but then, okay, can you go through that again? So it was closed, okay, but the so supervisors they, come to your house. Okay, I'll, go ahead, sorry. Okay, the 24th, they come out. They, the, our caseworker brought her supervisor with her, closed the case, and they watched our kids playing. They watched Josie and Wyatt riding their motorcycles, and Waylon had his little motorcycle. We bought him one of the little electric Walmart ones. And they were out here running around and having a great time, and everybody was just completely happy. And the next day, the following day, almost 24 hours exactly, is when Summer come up missing after they closed the case. And then another 24 to 48 hours, they re come, showed up up here again saying they needed to reopen the case. And then no one, like I said, no one would I know now, I should have told them, get the hell out of the property and don't come back. But right. I was so naive and so stupid. I let them work me out of my voice. Hey, Christine. I was apart. I really was. I was a, a mental case. That's understandable. Was yep. Was. And it should be the people, you know? It should be. Yeah. Anybody would lose their mind if a little girl. Hi, Christine. Or thought she was being hurt or whatever. You're going to lose your mind. Right. I Hi, hi, priestess. Yeah. And I made a huge mistake of going to social media and got friends with all the wrong people. Well, do you, okay, let's, uh, I do, I want to ask about that. Do you still think that's a mistake or, because if it's, if I'm not mistaken, it could have gone outside of just YouTube, but I know. Yeah, that sounds good. Yep. Let me, let me call you right back. I'm trying to get... Okay. Okay, bye. Okay. All right, bye. Hey, Dad, I'm going to call you back in a little bit, okay? Yep. Um, you can listen, but then when I call you, turn the turn the tablet off when I call you back. <laughs> I'm not using the tablet. I'm using my phone. Oh, I know, but I'm going to get off the phone with you. So if you want to listen on the tablet for a little bit until I call you again, you can. 
but when I call you, just turn the tablet back off or turn mute mute the tablet. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> Where's Mia? Hi, Mia. My brain is like a jungle gym. Okay? You can't, you can't, uh, You're okay. You're getting it, Dad. You're getting it. It's okay. Can Mia hear me? Hey, Mia. Sister loves you. Mia. Mia. You keep Dad. You keep Dad out of trouble, Mia. Okay, Dad. I'll call you in a little bit. We're gonna work with some sound issues here and try and get a hold of Candace. Okay. So go ahead and listen on the tablet. Okay. Hey, Sherry. Yeah. Did you, did you know that before about that twenty-four hour period thing? Yes. Well, yeah. He's mentioned it before, but it's been yeah for That's I've known for more for more like a week for sure. It's been the hot topic. Yes. Sounds super weird to me. Okay. It does. Okay, love you. Love you Bye. Okay. Uh, cause it's not working properly with our phones, Rebecca. It's ridiculous because trust me, the easiest way would be the best way, and conference calls would be great. It would be great if we could get them all up here on the panel and everyone could hear, but we uh roll with the punches and we make it work, and that's just uh life sometimes <laughs> um let's see what's going on in the chat here something candace wanted to chat so when we get candace on the line we'll call dad back because i think she wants to talk to to dad probably not me so um not sure we'll see what happens i don't have an alexa I never trusted the things, but yeah, maybe I should get an Alexa. I might actually have someone, I might have an Alexa somewhere, but I don't think I have like the cords maybe. Love you too, Taylor. I think that's what you mean to say. Uh, so what's, what am I missing in the chat? Any... you seen TPS make mistakes? Yeah, I mean, ask on who all they try told CPS closed the case. Yes, we'll ask. Okay. Hello. Hey. hey. Okay. Well, Candace says she tried to take the link several times, four times. What? Uh, she says she just keeps trying. Here, let me try something. Give me one second here. Is she... Maybe if I can... See her in the chat. Because I know she's not blocked. I've been sharing her channel out and stuff in my descriptions. I gotta put it in this description. Do we see her in the chat? I was gonna say, maybe I can... Um mod her and it would work better not sure um yeah we'll call dad back too because he want he would like to talk to candace as well so if she wants to come up i'll drop the link again there we go and mods can you grab that and maybe share it a couple times i'm not sure why she would have some problems but um so Dad thinks that's weird. Well, I didn't know how quick you were going to call back. I'll just, I'll get uh, Dad back on the line here. Because, yeah, he's thinking this stuff sounds crazy. Yeah, how many CPS cases, if you don't mind me asking, and if you don't want to answer, that's okay. How many, oh, how many CPS cases, the just the one that's time? Yeah, wow. So, one it's CPS a, a case. And within 24 hours of that first and one and only case being closed, uh -huh. summer's missing less than 24 hours later. Right. Exactly. Now, 
Dad's back on the line, by the way. If that doesn't sound suspicious. That's way too much of a coincidence for me. And I don't believe in coincidence to begin with. Right. Yeah. Okay, I've pinned uh, the link in a comment so it won't go anywhere if she wants to try it. Okay, so so what you thinking, Dad? In hearing that, what what do you think? And also, Dad, I want to ask you, what um do you think of people thinking that in over two years that Don Wells would be some mastermind? hiding his daughter for over two years and they because he's been to multiple different prisons uh, in 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 several different states that's what they're hanging it off of and that he would become some mastermind learning from other inmates and be able to keep his daughter hidden this long that he's a mastermind at it <laughs> did you hear what dad said he thought he was really smart too when running from the law but he always got caught so yeah how long did it take them when you robbed the bank to get caught dad Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, two months. So I don't, yeah, I don't think that he's some mastermind that can keep uh, something hidden for over two years. And not to be mean or anything, Don, but there has been um, alcohol use involved too. Like, for sure something would have slipped, right? Thank you, you know, for I'm, uh, I'm not going to comment on that. I'll just say that, you know, the alcohol is bad. It's very bad. And I'm doing my best, very best, to stay away from it. It's just uh, horrible what alcohol can do. Yeah, I hear you. I have not had a drink in quite a while. Yeah. yeah. Would you say uh, alcohol had a... There was alcohol involved in some of the trouble Dad got in. Yeah, definitely. Me too. Throughout my life, anytime I've ever gotten in trouble, it's alcohol is probably behind it. You know. Yeah. Um, can you ask Don who all they told that CPS had closed the case on their family back then? Don, do you? Did you tell a lot of people that CPS had a case and that it was closed? Um, I don't know. Probably not. You know, there was so much going on when all this was. We brought it to YouTube. I know you can remember all the craziness. Um, when we was there at the beginning. Um, there was a lot going on. Um, okay. <laughs> oh, that sounds good. <laughs> so just the one case, one. Yep, and then summer poof disappears. So, hmm. Around 
waiting days, he was up in Jonesboro and he was in the office talking to my boss, trying to get me fired and all over the place out there in Jonesboro. But the one day someone was missing, he was at home for rock solid alibi. And then he gets supposed to throw the drugs and everything. That's, you know, um, AJ and Dudley has always bothered me. Um, what were you going to ask, uh, Dad? Has there ever been a reward offered for information in this case? In Summer's case? Yeah, $75,000. It was divvied up. It was divvied up. The reward is gone, except for there's a man in Kingsport. Um, I can't say his name, but he is willing. He's still willing to put up twenty five thousand dollars. Oh, nice. For summer, so there is still basically a twenty five thousand or more. Or there might be another person um, still willing to put up money for her return or information leading to her or whatever. Nice. But the rest of the money. You know, they uh, did read that up. So most of it's all the money that you guys sent in, all the YouTubers and all the people out there that was sent in is gone now. And we didn't get a dime of it, so. Well, I don't think, did, you didn't want a dime, did you? No, we didn't right. even show up in court. Yeah. Well, yeah, I don't really like that. Sorry. I don't really like that. They say I'm too loud, so. Um, hmm. That's really nice of the man, the local man, to still have 25K available for uh, credible uh, information. That's awesome to know. That's yeah. good. I wish if they were going to divvy up the... Um, the fun like that, Don, that it would have been divided amongst your... Uh, sons yeah. well who got the money um it was sent to the courts in Harper County and some of it was sent I can't remember some of it was sent to the firefighters the volunteer fire department or whatever Hawkins County and stuff like that oh, okay. and some child it. agency that I, I, that, uh, I'm not sure so there's a statute of limitations on rewards, that is what you're saying down there. And, unless you handle the reward yourself, yeah, uh, apparently there is. But huh. hmm. uh, um, you were saying earlier, I was trying to find some scriptures a little bit and stuff like that, um, to try to share, but in my mind, I'm just... I'm just so far from everything, and I'm just not the best at anything, but That's I would okay. like to point out that in Revelations, we're almost to the very end. It's, we are, we have, we're living in the sixth seal. Um, I would like to point that out. A lot of people think that Revelations is in the future, but all this, all these things, Almost all of them have already happened, and people don't realize it. Hmm. And we're living in the sixth seal right now. And so we only have, like, one thing left to happen before Christ returned, and that's the mark of the beast. Hmm. Well, I just wanted to point that out to everybody. It's um, very important to understand this stuff, I think. The Southern Faith Church has a lot of understanding when it comes to revelations. Because mm -hmm. most people, you know, teach that this stuff's in the future, and it's not. It's, it's, it's well, been there's happening. Well, a lot of evidence that we're in the end of days. What do you say? There's a lot of evidence out there right now that we're living in the end of times. That's right. We are absolutely in the end of times. Our country is $20 trillion in debt. There's no coming out of that. There's no, uh, you know, and Biden's lead, leading, marching us, you know, like Pied Piper, uh, leading our country to. Yeah. Right down below. Um, <laughs> yep. 
there's nothing left of our country. And people, are, it's like a big, huge money grab. Everybody's doing everything they can to borrow more money, take more kids, and uh, collect more money and keep the ball rolling. But, you know, once we get so far in debt, I don't know what they're going to do. They just can't keep borrowing money. And I mean, uh, well, just I'm keep worried. selling more children. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt that. I would not doubt that. Um, to be honest with you, CPS makes more money in this country than off of kids in foster care and probably prisons too um, than any organized crime in, or, you know, in this country. Than any other, I'm not, you know, You know, I'm not really. I don't. I'm not. I'm not really against the foster parents. I, I, I understand their situation. They're trying to help. Yeah, I was going to ask you about um, uh, that. And Holly Flake, if you know, you know. When I say Flake, um. So I wanted to ask you, Don. I know that you would much rather have your. Sorry, sorry. I know that you would much rather have your sons. Um, and I know it's frustrating for you that they're in foster care. Um, but I was trying to also tell you to look at the positives in that. Were you able to? Well, yeah, there's, there's positives. There is. There's a lot of positives. But the thing that makes me mad is the foster family gets paid. Love you too, sis. I've heard like $1,400 a month per child. Yeah. Plus food stamps plus insurance, you know, and that's good, you know, that's good, you know, the kids are living, you know, they, they probably got, you know, in a nice home, they got plenty of food, There's, you know, they got insurance, they got all of that, you know, I've never got food stamps or any help from the state whatsoever, Right. you know, any, nothing like that, we begged them for insurance, and we couldn't get no kind of help to get their teeth fixed and stuff like that, we just... Never got it. We couldn't get no help from the welfare, ever. And I always made a little bit too much money to get any help. But they help the foster family, the foster, you know, big time. They pay them. And I'm not really against, the only thing I have against the foster family is they've turned our boys against us. They've convinced my boys that we don't love them. Hmm. And that we don't ever, you know, we, we don't, we intentionally don't, ever try to call them or anything else. When there's been times we tried to call and they wouldn't even answer their phone. Hmm. You know, and stuff like that. So there's a lot of underhanded stuff going on and a lot of lying going on and stuff like that. That's what I got against them. But I, I, I don't have, you know, anything against foster families or parents per se, but what they're doing yeah. My boys. So, you know, yeah, I, I'm pissed off. You damn right. Yeah, and that's you understandable. Right. And you know, what the, what they're doing's wrong. Yeah, I'm glad they're being taken care of. That's great. But like I said too, if I if we were to just sign our kids over, there's no telling where our kids have ended up. Would end up. And I've worked in homes. I, I helped rebuild a home in Hawkins County where they had all these young girls that were foster kids. And I, I know what they were living in. Because yeah. I helped remodel the home. Okay, so you're uh, saying, so. you're saying, okay, I catch what you're saying. Yes, yeah, so you know the things that these foster families do try to hide. I've lived it as well, right. so I catch what you're saying. Right. But, uh, you know, gag orders and stuff, you don't want to get into trouble. Um Benny's in the chat and he's like, don't get yourself into trouble, Don. Remember, you have gag orders. Have this conversation another time when you won't get in trouble. Yeah, of course they put gag orders up. Of course. Yeah, uh, they and nobody, they did no the same to Billy Joel Eric, as well. They don't want everybody knowing all the corruption going on. Well, they don't know they don't. Yeah. I'm already Could in be. trouble with them. So. Yeah, but... um. Yeah, don't get yourself into trouble. They've already took my boys and everything else. Is there 
put my kids. It's never too late. Like, no matter what, even when they tell you, like, oh, it's too late, you know, you lost all rights. If they ever say that to you, you can still... Don't believe it. Don't, yeah, don't, don't believe, believe it. And keep, keep no. just bettering yourself. Because, again, uh, remember exactly what I said. My dad probably thought he would never see me or hear from me again. Right. And they convinced him, you know, to... He thought he was, you know, doing the right thing. Yeah. And, uh, he probably, you know, was. I mean, he had a lot well, of time to do. They told they would try to poison me too against my dad too. Well, your dad's a bad man. Blah 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 blah. And I catch what you're saying, but yeah, but yes, we do forget. We forget sometimes. You do have gag orders, and you gotta take those serious. You don't want. Yeah. Who told you? Yeah, but what about what about this though, sure? Lots of people, Dad. Freedom, we'll talk about that about later. My Fourth Amendment right of freedom of speech. I want names and addresses. <laughs> well, Don, I mean, I can they understand. Can't my, my, they, they can't do that. They can't. They cannot violate freedom of speech. But. And, and this is for, uh, I almost forgot, this is for entertainment purposes only. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, but still, let's not, like, even if you go to jail for 10 days, you know, that's going to look bad on you. You're going to give people content for another week straight, and who wants that? Come on. <laughs> All right. I heard that. Yeah, and protecting Summer's case, protecting your well, sons I'm as not, well. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not telling them anybody where the boys are. Good, good. Because you shouldn't know where they're at anyway. Yeah, don't do that. Um, so, Don. Don, Don, Don. What was I going to ask you? I'm looking at chat if there's questions too. Don't ever give up. You can still go back after you better yourself. Exactly, uh, Lynetta. Yep, that's why I always tell them, continue to keep bettering yourselves. Go to work. Uh, get some therapy. Better yourself. And, you know, because those boys are going to... Like, the the system and the establishment can only stop things for so long. And then these boys are going to get older if they don't get kicked out before, right? And who are they going to come back? They're going to want to know things for themselves. And they're going to want to hear it no matter who's drilling what in their head. They're going to want to hear it from, from you, Don, and, and Candace. Um, and I know this. Jason said you can speak of your kids. He can't speak of the case, the foster kids, any court cases, but to say he misses and loves his boys in summers is fine. Okay, yeah. Um, Huda, appreciate give Don the chance to have a platform so he can speak calmly, doesn't swear and cuss and stuff. Yes, he's he's doing good. He wanted to chit chat tonight and get some things you know, straight. He doesn't like hearing the lies. It frustrates him just like it would, sorry, just like it would frustrate anybody because guess what? Don Wells is human. Okay? We forget, right? There's humans that are on the other side of everything that we're doing in these cases. Humans with real feelings, real lives, you know. <clears throat> so, um, do you have any questions, any more questions this evening for Don, Dad? Um, no, not really. Um, just hope that you guys are doing okay. And, uh, I'm in my prayers always. I appreciate it. And I appreciate y'all very much. I... And so, Don, I'm yeah. going to give, um... I'm going to text you. Dad said yes, uh, I can text you his number. 
and he can text but because of the international you can call him and he can answer but he cannot call you okay and you can but and you can also text okay his okay um so uh Okay, Don, you hold on one second. I'm just going to hang up. Or do you want to say goodbye? Do you want to say, Dad, I'm going to hang up yeah. with you first. I'm going to let Don talk to you here for a second. All right. All right. Talk to you later, buddy. All right. Take care. All right. Thank you, too. And, yeah, when when I send the number, Candace will get a hold of Dad. Candace is welcome to hit up Dad, too. Okay. Yeah, feel free to text me anytime you want. If Candace is uh, hearing you, Dad, do you want to? She she can hear you probably if you want to say anything. Hi, Candace. I hope you're doing okay. Um, I know you guys are going through a lot. I, I just uh, I want you to know that I'm keeping thunder in my prayers and my thoughts all the time too. So hopefully something good will come of all this soon. Yes, soon. Yeah, I hope so. That sounds great. All right, Dad. Love you. I'll be. Right. I'll text you later. Right. Bye. Okay. All right. So, Don, is there anything else that you want to cover tonight, or did we just kind of wanted to go over that DNA stuff for this evening? Was the main thing, right? Yeah, pretty much, and I appreciate that. Um, yeah, of course. And just, just to. Uh, yeah, we are, we're, we're living in the sixth seal of Revelation right now. And the, the seventh seal is actually when Christ returns. Yeah, you, so you heard my dad a little bit. He's definitely, he, you, he believes the same thing. So, I'm, yeah, you guys will definitely yeah. have a lot to talk about. And if Thank I'm, you, you know, I'm, all jokes aside, like, seriously, we can kind of see... The world flipping upside down as we speak it's yes. a lot it yes. feels like right now yeah. so um yeah and the mark of the, the mark of the beast will start in america it will become law right here in america first hmm. and spread throughout the world um, um and it could be for, for united nations i don't know they, they're having summits all the time you know uh getting more and more involved with the United Nations, America is, and we're 20 trillion in debt, so we're kind of at at the world's, we're kind of on our knees begging people, like, hey, other countries and stuff, we, we owe 20 trillion dollars, and, and Biden is just bringing us down more and more every day. Um, and if it, what they've done to Trump, that's just a, a four, that's just, a shadow of what they'll do to the people. If they can do that to Trump, they can do it to us. So <sighs> that's very interesting. But anyway, I love I, I love you guys. I love you all. And I, love I appreciate you too. everyone's support. And thank you guys very much. And God bless. Okay. You try to have a good night. I'll, let you go. I'll get okay, your dad's you number you. and uh, say okay. hi to Candace. Hope she's well. Okay. All right. We'll talk Alrighty. to you. Bye, Don. Okay, so he uh, got that out. That is good. Thank you guys for... Now, I see some, someone in the chat, something about people are getting timed out. I'll go back and look. I think, uh, uh, you know, we've got a, lots of different personalities around these streets. So, um, but yeah, I've been trying to do better with blocking and deleting. But if people are being assholes, yeah, of course. I did throw out a couple more wrenches tonight too, but um, yeah, I think at this point, most people that I see or uh, watch were being civil for the most part. So, okay, well, some of us are. You know, it it depends on the day. <laughs> but yeah, we're. I like when Don talks more laid back, just whatever's on his mind, because I think it's a little less stressful that way. Um, this was not made. Okay, well, I didn't know what exactly. I'm going to kind of change the title because it's not like no. When he talked to me really quick when I changed it, it sounded like it was, you know, was going to be something important. So, and he was like, so we're going to 
talk about it so i knew he wanted it to get it out there so um but wow that is interesting oh him and my dad are definitely gonna get on talking about the uh religion for sure and i've been learning as well asking lots of questions and you know because my dad's trying to you know find where he fits in and kind of me too so it's interesting you guys know that when i went and visited that sorry let me turn my camera back on when i went to visit him we had walked in he was going to be joining um this is no offense to anyone but he was going to be joining um jehovah's witnesses and my dad kind of said something like i didn't i didn't get the vibe like he really was vibing with them but that the fact that he was accepted because my dad's like well in with everything i've done they're willing to accept me like these are good people and i'm like well dad like i've seen way too many things and you guys know how i think i'm like i don't know but anyway so we go to have dinner with him the one night and go to the beach and he was we walked into his house and the Jehovah's Witness people were like huddled around my dad to where my dad was like on his couch. My dad does not look uncomfortable around anybody, but I saw my dad looking hella uncomfortable and like on his couch, like all the way to the edge in his own house looking uncomfortable and they're just all standing while he's sitting and I just was like, I just walked into a fucking cult trying to take my dad. Uh-uh, no way bye and yeah my dad even said he didn't like the feel of that mark actually even said that that felt weird and you know what's even weirder when we walked into that uh the whole situation with my mom and my dad but yeah um something happened like i think on mark's phone and it brought up like my mom's name or something as we were walking in and all of that so it was of the devil i am convinced i promise you it felt very dark in the, in there and and then when the situation with my mom dinging on the phone right at that moment whoo time to go <laughs> um thanks everyone for taking part in the chat uh sorry for the sounds we did our best chasing good to see you um i'm always lurking i just don't always chat because you know sometimes I don't mind stirring the pot when I'm like hey and I know people are in there and don't like me and other times I'm like well I don't want to disrupt important conversations so I just watch silently but you know I love you um out and about I mean he should understand the rules yeah it's touchy I, I know that the situation with the Quentin Simon case I never want that to happen again so but you guys have a good rest of your night I will be live again sometime this week I don't know when just watch for oh a moth on me uh, a pop-up live um be kind to everyone whether you agree with it or not I think we should be past most of the bullshit it's okay have your thoughts and your opinions but we can't ignore like very real possibility don and candace i mean they would make the perfect target and trafficking is on the rise they have been putting for sting since summer's disappearance and busting down on some of those stings um and the fact that they're continuing to do these things in the areas where summer went missing i'm choosing to think okay well maybe they know something we don't know mm, <laughs> imagine that but have a good night, guys. Have a good uh, week going forward. I've got to work tomorrow. Boo. But thanks for hanging tonight. Yes, I will. I'm going to go back and watch the chat. And we'll get this situated much better so Don and Dad can be on whatever panels they want to be on and whatever. And we'll, we'll do the damn thing. So have a good night. Love y'all. Be kind. It really takes a whole lot less energy to be kind to one another or at least just adult, you know, like kindergarten rules. Okay, people? Bye.